What we're gonna do with this because I don't know a lot about the cooking of the bit. Where's we are smoking it on my offset smoker. But I'm not gonna add any seasonings to it except for salt and pepper. I'm just gonna salt and pepper it up, throw it out on the smoker. And Bob's your uncle, we'll see how it turns out. Give our hands a little quick wash. This is next to beefiness. Remember that. Oh yeah, and one more thing for all you vegans out there. Beef is a plant-based animal. All meat that we eat are plant is plant-based animals. Think about that one. Okay, now we got our, our meat out here. It's looking pretty yummy. Everybody get a good look at that. Don't look at me, look at the meat. I'm, I'm not important, the meat's important. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our freshly ground pepper, pepper mill. There we go. Actually, nope, sorry, just about did it wrong. Gotta take some extra virgin olive oil. And we give it a little coating here like this. Everybody gets a little bit. Make sure it's all coated. Rub it all over both sides, back and front. And that's the binder, that's gonna help our salt and pepper stick to there. And also give it more moisture because apparently venison is a very lean meat. There's very little to no fat in there, so if you cook it too long, it's definitely going to dry out. But by adding the extra virgin olive oil here, we're adding a little bit of moisture to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm only a negative five-star Michelin chef. So I'm working my way up. I only got, I don't know, six or seven Michelin stars to go to be. Minus five stars. Yeah, I'm a minus five-star Michelin chef. I'm at the very beginning of what you would call cooking. What I should have is a bleach rag, and that's what I will have the next time I do a, a cook. But I don't know about the food handling of anything. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a lot of pepper, freshly ground pepper. That's kind of you don't want to use the, the pepper shaker. You want to just freshly ground everything. The fresher the ingredients, the better. That's all nice like that. I take the salt. One side, and we'll flip them all over. Actually, you know what? We don't have to flip them all over, we can just move them because there's salt and pepper all over in there. So we just go like this. That way, we don't have to touch the salt and pepper shaker again and cross contaminated possibly. But we know that everybody's got salt and pepper on it now, both sides, right? Yeah, so there we go. So it looks like it's all been seasoned nicely. Wash our hands one more time, and we're going to head directly out to the smoker because the smoker should be at temperature. Hopefully. And there is the venison meat on its way out to the smoker. Grab my other camera here. That's my dog Brutus. Hey Brutus, you gonna say hi to the camera? No, I guess not. He's camera shy, because I've noticed a few times when I tried to put him on camera, he's like turned away and said, hey man, you can't put me on camera, I'm wanted. He's probably part of the witness relocation program, you know, for more for dogs. Uh, from what I so we, we wouldn't know because if we knew then it wouldn't be a very good program to would it so now we're on our way back there here so I'm positioning this camera up no this shot won't work very well because it's not a tall enough camera can you transfer this to that one because that's taller than this one Fill it first. 347. Okay, we got a good temperature on the grill. So what I'm gonna do, keep going. And then I'm gonna do this too, so. <coughs> there we go. That looks like a good shot from there. It shows me the grill. Hello, hello. Okay, so what we have here, we got our meat, we got a grill temperature of two, 267. Well, that's because I just opened up the grill. Okay, so what we're going to do, we clean that off, so I'm going to lay these pieces of meat on here. Like this. Now, I'm looking for an internal temperature for this deer meat of 140. That means that it's cooked. You want it rare. You don't want it well done because you cook it well done. It's definitely gonna get all tough on you. But there you go. 
it's on there now. Put that down there. Say sorry now. What we're gonna do is with my phone, we're gonna take a little picture too. So we're all in the snow roll, turn around snow photo. Here we go, deer is on, click, click, click. Thank you very much for tuning in to this very special edition of the Venison Cook, Venison Smoke, a Brain Damage Barbecue. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you get other notifications about videos like this. Thank you very much. Keep it beefy. Hey, and thank you for tuning back into Brain Damage Barbecue special venison edition just cleaning up the garage so I get the car in because we're supposed to be getting a big snowstorm tonight and all winter I have yet to clean off my car because I have a garage and if you have a garage I recommend highly keeping your car in it if it's going to snow otherwise you have to clean your car off and then if you're one of those idiots that doesn't clean their car off and then the snow flies back and lands and on people's windshields and breaks where's my box where's my box go you see my box around here? You know the box I'm talking about, right? Yeah, wasn't it behind, behind me? It might be behind me. I wouldn't, oh no, it's under, it's on the shelf where it should be. Right down here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the, the trunk of temperature and time. This holds all Close the lid. time and devices. Close the lid. Show me the lid. This holds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a, a copper plaque with that engraved on it. Okay. I'll, I'll leave that for a while because it looks unique and original and stuff. But this it's holds all my timing equipment. Unique. It holds all my probes and stuff like that for my cooking of my meat and everything like that. So I keep it all in one, one place, keep it organized. Just like that. Cool. Done, done, done. This arrived today. This is my butcher's twine with my scissors. A little chicken on the top. So we're gonna put that on the way because we're cleaning up. We're getting everything put away here. But like I said, gonna bring my car in so it doesn't get all snowy. And back on topic to what we were talking about, the venison that I smoked tonight. Two people that I allowed to try it, my buddy Dale, which you saw in the very first video there when we did the offset smoker barbecue, he tried it and said it was great. Definitely tasted a lot better than he thought it would because of the way it smelled. I guess game venison has a, a unique smell to it, so but he ended up saying, yeah, it turned out really good. He enjoyed the taste. It was nice and juicy, nice and flavorful. My buddy and cameraman Lawrence, he tried it. He Hi thought there. It was, he, he thought it was okay too. Yeah. I said for the first time ever smoking venison, I think we did a good job, but I tried a piece and I did it with an open mind, absolutely positively, chew, 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 chew. But as soon as that gaminess or whatever flavor from the meat came out, it hit the back of my tongue, it wasn't gonna happen. That meat is not for me. Don't let that spoil anybody else's opinion of, of venison out there because I'm sure it's really, really good. Everybody I've heard that talked to about it and said, yeah, it's really a great meat. So it's just, I guess, not a meat for me. But what are you going to do? Not everything's for everybody, right? But again, thank you very much for tuning into this very special edition, venison edition of Brain Damage Barbecue. Don't know what else to say except for keep it beefy. And don't forget, where there's smoke, there's flavor. Peace.